What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a little bit different video style today. This video is sponsored by Masigo Dash Cams. They did send me this camera. This is a front and rear dash cam for inside of a vehicle. So this is going to be an unboxing, review, install, and then just overall first impressions and kind of what I think about this camera. So let's get into the video. All right, so this Masigo dash cam is a front and rear car camera. It's full HD 1080p at 60 frames per second for the front and the back cameras. It's ultra wide. It has Wi-Fi, GPS, a G sensor, parking surveillance and emergency mode, noise and motion blur reduction, night vision with a mobile app. So it's got a whole bunch of different features that allows you to monitor, you know, while you're driving, while the vehicle is parked and stuff to keep, you know, just peace of mind in case, you know, hopefully nothing ever happens, but if it does, this way you've got it on video for record, you know, for insurance purposes, uh, or, you know, if maybe if you're an off-road junkie like I am, you can maybe use the camera for something, some of the times that you're playing off-road. Uh, it's got a lot of really cool features built in. It's basically like extra eyes on the road. You know, it helps you keep a continuous record of your vehicle's front and rear points of view with dual dash cam parked with top-notch specs. The front camera is a 60 frames per second as well as the rear. Image sensor front and rear. The camera has built-in GPS, so it monitors where it's at and also the vehicle speed. So while you're driving, it'll record how fast you're going in the event of an incident. So that way you have, again, proof that, uh, you know, if you were speeding or not, you know, for insurance and, uh, you know, whatever case it is, it, it monitors your speed. It loop records, meaning it'll continuously record when your vehicle is on or off. Uh, you know, and then if something happens, obviously you pull the footage off the memory card if you need to get into it. Otherwise, it just basically keep writing itself until you know you need the actual footage to you know, for playback. Parking mode support, emergency file lock. Uh, it's got a high intensity display, which you know again, so the video display on the back of the main camera up front is not you know something that is super blurry or you know hard to tell it, you know it's, it's a nice good good three inch display there most dash cams are 30 frames per second you know this is a little higher frame rate just 30 frames per second which means that you know when you're in a vehicle and you're moving you know the more frames per second that the camera can capture it allows a clearer picture for playback so if you're you know high speed stuff uh, it's easier to make out certain things, which again is nice for you know all kinds of stuff. But you know, it picks out details clearly and even if the fast moving cars or screens, depending on what you're doing. Super night vision, capture the road in crystal clear quality, even in low light. Equipped with Sony Starvis image sensor and back illuminated pixel technology and enhanced noise reduction, even in low light. So you're not going to have super crappy grainy footage at nighttime. You know it's going to have four times sharper and brighter image high dynamic range on on the video playback as well it's got an f 1.4 aperture again small the aperture it allows you know just this is better for recording the camera always has your safety first automatic save and lock saves and locks video from being overwritten continues on loop recording when a collision emergency brake or tilt is detected so again if it's in an impact Vehicles rolled over, emergency braking situation, it's got a G sensor built into it. It's gonna continuously record even throughout a you know emergency. So you can monitor what happened before and after and during uh, an accident. Again, hopefully nothing ever happens, but when it does, this keeps you uh, protected. Automatic parking surveillance switches to surveillance mode when the vehicle is stationary for over 10 minutes. The built-in G sensor detects an impact and trigger to lock current video clips. So if something hits your vehicle while it's parked, again, it's gonna monitor and record that as well, front and back of the vehicle. Again, it's just continuously keeping eyes on your car even if you don't physically have your eyes on the car. Real-time smart connections. Again, integrating the Masigo Wi-Fi app that you can download from the App Store or the, uh, the Android version. Precise direction, keep track of your speed and location with built-in GPS with auto-calibrated date, time, and driving information that you can access through the app. See all the times on the heads-up display function, you know, also on your phone depending on what you're looking at. Built for extreme conditions, made with long-lasting and weather and impact-resistant ABS, and PC with super capacitors for reliable backup power. Again, this thing's going to be sitting up in your windshield in the front. You know, I personally live down here in South Texas. It gets extremely hot in the summertime, so it's not going to just fall apart and crack if, you know, under prolonged sun exposure. 
The super capacitors are PC quality, so again, everything is gonna be backed up for reliable backup power. All right, let's get into this thing. The Masego two-channel dash cam. Comes in this nice packaging here, white and red box, all sealed up. Got a little sticker there to keep everything nice and closed. We're gonna pop this little seal open, just like so. Maybe. All right. Open up the box here. This is what we got. So inside the Masego dash camera, popping it up. Comes with a 32 gigabyte micro SD scan disk memory card. That's pretty cool. I actually didn't know I had that in there. Move it over to the side. We got two boxes. Pull out the first one. It says Masego dash cam up top. This is going to be probably the front camera, just obviously off reading that, that's what I would assume. So this is going to be one that goes in the front. So three boxes in one. So we're going to pop this box open. Maybe. This opened up here. Two little cardboard things. What do we got? Uh, looks like a USB power port that sticks on the window. Okay. Got 3M double-sided adhesive. Uh, this is pre-wired, so this is probably what powers the whole unit up. So we'll set that off to the side. What else we got in here? All your cables and attachments. 12-volt power supply That's what this is. So I would assume that that plugs into this. We'll get into that here in a second. Got your full HD dash cam user's manual and packaging. Another double-sided adhesive, maybe in case you mess up on the first one or need to relocate the camera to a different vehicle. And then the actual dash cam itself and yet another box. So you like lots of boxes. So open this up, pull that out, nicely packaged up, keep things nice and safe for shipping. Grab inside another plastic paper bag. The actual dash cam itself. Uh, overall, quality seems pretty solid, actually. Uh, looks like an LCD screen on the back. This is where you're going to view what the camera is videoing. Of course, your camera up here in the front. Everyone likes the uh, peel offs. So let's peel this thing off. Ooh, yeah, look at that. So you got the actual camera, the plug. That's where that mounts, like so. So we'll set off that off to the side. Let's go to the rear camera. Pull this box back over here. Same thing. Let's see you go rear cam. Let's go look at the box. Nicely packaged. All your specs and power stuff here in the back of the box. Let's open this one up. And another box inside of another box. It's like mystery boxes. Man, lots of packaging, so that's good. It's not uh, just thrown in a box and shipped to you guys. It comes all nicely wrapped and packaged, ensuring, uh, I guess, quality and safety. So here's the rear camera. Nice, small little design, double-sided adhesive tape, power supply on the back, USB-C, of course, your camera there. There's the rear camera and the box for the rear cam. All of your power supply. Let's see, we got some things in here. Uh, another double sided adhesive 3M tape uh, pad thing. I guess, again, if you need to relocate the camera, you can replace that little sticky thing there. All right. And then the rear power supply. This is a lot longer cable you can see versus the one in the front because obviously the back of the car, depending on your vehicle, could be a little further distance. So uh, that gives you plenty of distance to run your cable from the front to the back to power up that rear camera. So if you look on the front camera, there's the input for the rear. So this would plug into that, which runs this. So in summary, we've got front camera, cable, rear camera, main power supply to the whole unit, head unit mount for the front camera, double-sided adhesive tape, 32 gigabyte micro SD memory card, and your user manual. Okay, now that we got everything all opened up and on the table here, I'm gonna go ahead and power up the device and kind of see its turn on procedure, 
uh, and just you know overall just what the screen looks like when you fire it up so I've got a power supply here under the desk so it comes wrapped up you know like most things do these little red zip tie things I'm gonna pull this out plug this in really quick okay so that's plugged in there and then that would go into this like so then let's see this is gonna slide like that so that's for the front camera get this out of the way Oop, what do we just do here okay so English time zone so time zone comes up when you first power the device on to select where you're at. Ooh, a little audio there, hear that? Okay, we're done with that. <laughs> Let's see, where are we at? Rio, Denver. All right. So you'd set the date and time. Let's see, we are in December. Today is the 6th. Okay. Oh, no, okay. I'm oh, sorry. Let's go back. How do we go back? Nope. That's wrong. Okay. Start micro SD. Let me go back and reset that. Well, again, this is literally the first time I'm opening up too. But uh, when you power up the device, you set the time zone, the date, time, and then which region that you're in. Insert micro SD card. So once that's there, let's go ahead and power up the rear camera. So let's go ahead and open this up. Boom. Cables, lots of cables, lots of zip ties. Move this out of the way. So the back camera plugs into the top of the front camera. Plugs in there, and then the back camera powers up like so. I guess that's it. Okay, oh yeah, okay. Let's see now. We, we got rear camera. Cool. What's up, guys? All right. So that is what it looks like when you power up the device. So the next thing to do is to go put it in the car. You guys ready to go see it inside the vehicle? Let's go install this bad boy.